wanted to do a haul video. I've got some really exciting clothes and I've obviously got makeup. I think I'll start with makeup. New Gala Blusher and it's £41.50. You're paying for the indulgence of it and the thrill of getting it and it's just jaw-droppingly beautiful and also I think the main thing is I write my name with that twirly G with a long tail so every time Girl Lab brings anything out I just feel like it's my personal makeup range and I just have to have it. It comes in a velvet pouch and the velvet pouch has got a hot pink lining. Very sleek. So that's the shiny compact. It's got a place underneath for a brush apparently. So it's got this kind of secret compartment and you get this gorgeous hot pink brush, looks like that, and it's quite soft so if you don't mind the shape of it, which I don't think I would, quite a good size, I can see that being quite useful. Oh and it says Gala in hot pink there, and it's got the Gala embossed logo here, the intertwined G's. And it's got this really nice size mirror and here's the actual product. You've probably seen this on blogs and things. It's made quite an impression. And so it's got that G in there and then you get all these different coloured blush, orange, pink, sort of amber and highlight sparkly colour. And I've worn it all day and it's lasted really, really well, so I'm very impressed with it. People have been comparing this to Nars Orgasm, but I would say that this is like Super Orgasm, which was a beautiful colour, but had really irritating, chunky glitter, and with the texture and sheen of Orgasm. But I would say it's less sheeny. I'm going to try and swatch it and photograph it and put it on my blog put the link to my blog below so hopefully you'll get some idea. I think NARS blushes are too pigmented. I don't really, it's personal preference, but I don't really like blushes where you have to really be careful with your brush and just literally press it in there and apply it with a light hand. It just seems like an awful lot of work and um, very high likelihood of turning into clown face. So I prefer buildable blushes. I'm really happy to report that this blusher lasts very well. It applies very smoothly. On me, it's a peachy pink, very much like NARS Super Orgasm, but you can tailor make your blusher and just pick out certain strands of the blush if you want. So really love that. But this lipstick, which I've already mentioned in my favourites video. I didn't know the shade, but I have to thank one of my favourite YouTubers, Ms. Sparkle Arkle and um, Karen in real life. And I'm going to put her link below. And she told me where to find the name. I literally couldn't see it, but very, very discreetly, it's just this shade is number one. Girl in Nerd, Pale Peachy Brave New Bronze Dupe, which I showed you in my video. That colour. So very peachy. Then I got a backup. It's a limited edition, so if you want to check it out, it's still on counter. And this is the summer version of their terracotta range. And this one is Blonde Halle. And I've shown it in my other video. It's just a really nice um, version of the blonde but it's got a lot more pink in it, a lot more shiny. The brunette version which I haven't tried yet but um, again it looks more or less the same shades. Pretty similar to the blonde halle except it's got less pink so it's a bit more golden. I did used to have the originals but I used them up and I do like the originals but these are just a lot better because they incorporate a highlighter within them as well. The only bad thing is that um, the glittery bits wear down a lot quicker than the matte bits, so by the end of it you're not getting the same beautiful luminosity that you get when it's fresh. But anyway, I love these and you get 10 grams, so they do last a very long time. I really highly recommend these. 
they're £32.50, so again, not a uh, impulse buy, but I just think the quality of their bronzers is unsurpassed. Then I got this, which I've wanted for such a long time, but every counter was out. And although I have to say that I miss the gold art deco packaging that they used to do with that huge slab, and it's called Ombre Perle, very nice compact. Um, sort of almost matte, very nice, interesting design. And these are the shades. I just love these shades so much. And then you've got this white flower, and that's a uh, shimmery white. So the others are practically matte. Went back and got another Gala in the Rouge G Gerlinade because I read that it was limited edition, so I just didn't want to be without it, so that's just the same as one I showed you. Comes in a box like this. And I've got a uh, Kiss Kiss Gloss, which I really like the Girl Eye Lip Glosses. I've mentioned that before. I never used to be a gloss person until recently, and it's mainly thanks to Girl Eye for making me realise the benefits of a really good gloss. Number 841 Beige Secret. And I really like nude beige lips. And it looks like that. And this looks really good over lipsticks, but it also looks nice even over my pigmented lips. And it comes with a brush applicator. And I do prefer brush applicators. They're very similar to Guerlinade. Same caramelly, browny almost. They look very good together, as you can imagine. And it is a bit sticky, but not very so lasts amazingly well it just makes lips look really full and glamorous so really like that I mentioned this in my favorites and it really does deserve to be there accessorize has got a new makeup range and this is my new favorite and I'm wearing it now and it's called number two temptation it's quite a pinky brown just there quite a pinky brown rather than a more beigey brown and it's stuffed full of glitter and you can see on my lips it's really high shine high glitter when it fades off you have a ton of glitter on your lips which i really like it smells like butter just like another purchase which i made recently and this is userin q10 which has really good reviews on makeup alley get the smell of butter then i got some stuff from becca it's blossom which i mentioned as my one of my top favourites, very nude colour, very nice texture and good to have around. Um, then I picked up two Becca lip glosses and I do really like these, they give a very juicy lip. This one is called Granita and this one is called Dakiri and Granita is once again that sort of beigey shade and Dakiri is um, sort of um, strawberry colour. And I'll just swatch them. These come with, this one comes with a doe foot applicator. Just build it up a little. And this one comes with a brush applicator. Not sure why one comes with a brush. And they do make lips look really juicy and full. Bonita. And that one's Dakiri, just above. Nice lip glosses, nothing unique. Then I got some Illamasqua. I got Katie Blusher. And this is like Louis the Sixteenth pale pink cheek. It's that very 18th century unnatural blue based pink, which I really like and looks really good on pale skins. And this is the medium pencil and this one is in paint, which is a yellow shade. And it looks good on the inner corner and it's just quite a nice unusual shade. Mentioned on my blog. Again, check the link for my blog below. Um, Illamasqua have currently got a new collection out called Throb, and it's for Valentine's Day, but it's not Valentine's Day-ish at all. It's much more vixen-y. And this one is their Intense Lip Gloss, and I would say their lip glosses are fantastic. The lip gloss is literally as good as Girl La lip gloss, and I'm very fussy about lip gloss. When a lip gloss is like a liquid lipstick, that's just the best. So Gala and Illamasqua have just mastered that. 
getting lipstick to just squeeze into a tube and apply really glossy. So this is a very vivid red and I'm not really sure if I'm ever going to really wear vivid reds because I feel like they're very aging and I've currently got a poll on my blog. Every week I'm going to ask a makeup question and this week's question is do you wear bold lips? And I do have a swatch of it on my lips on the blog so check that out for reference. It's by Sleek and it's called Molten Metal and this is actually, speaking of Illamasqua, this is like um, Illamasqua liquid metals which I've always wanted to try but never have and you get two colours pewter and gold leaf two different types of gold and these apply really well you can see absolutely brilliant texture application really really impressive and that was $6.99 so really good price as well um, then I got the Collection 2000 New Mascara, which Pixie Woo has spoken about. And I got this in black, and I also got the brown version. And funnily enough, I really like the brown version, but the black seems to be drying out very quickly for some reason. So I just find that Longcom Hypnose is my HG, and every time I try a drugstore formulation, there's always something wrong with it. So I can't really recommend this and it's got a humongous brush which always causes problems so I don't know. The brown one's nice though. And then I got two Berry M lipsticks. One's really good and one's absolutely horrible chalk. This one is 129 which is really famous and I got it because I really like MAC Lavender Whip but I wondered if there was a dupe and I heard this was one. And it really is quite a good dupe. But I have to say, Lavender Whip definitely has the edge. This is very creamy, to the point where it gets all mangled in the tube. But um, it's got a bit more lilac than Lavender Whip, which has got a bit more pink, which makes all the difference. And this one is number 100, and it's absolutely appalling. It's really unflattering. It's a bit like MAC. Pink Friday. If you found that was easy to work with and you might like this, but I didn't like that either. And then if you spent £6 you got a free lip gloss at Barry M and I got this one which is number 11 and reminds me a lot of the Becca lip glosses and it's just there. The only thing I really don't like really strong smell of sweets but because it's such a fun summery colour it kind of matches up. And I got this brush because I've heard many people, including Ms. Worthy, um, Jen, I'll put her link below as well, and she's always saying that this is a really good brush, and I think a few people have mentioned, and it's the number 7217 dupe. Um, it's called the Eyeshadow Blend and Contour, and it really isn't bad, as you can see I've used it and it really fits quite nicely, it's quite dense, it's not quite as dense as the MAC and it does get some fallout but I got this with a Boots voucher so it was practically free and I really do suggest that if you've got a Boots voucher handy this is a really good thing to spend it on. That's it for makeup, this dress and this is by Joseph and I don't know if you've got that in America or anywhere else but it's a really nice brand and doesn't look like much when you just see it but it's really 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 flattering and it gives you a really nice figure and it's got this little twirly bit and it's 95% wool it's got a zip down the back it's very Victoria Beckhamish and it's kind of a pencil skirt kind of design it's really nice, I'll have to wear it. Um, and the next thing is my favourite. This is, I'm going to put it on for you so that you can see. And this really reminds me of the Balmer jackets like Michael Jackson and Rihanna and Victoria Beckham wore. I really adore it because I've got really narrow shoulders to benefit from giant shoulder padded things. Really nice soft leather. I didn't really want to get a Topshop leather jacket or a high streety 
leather jacket because I feel too old for that. So I wanted a really good quality kind of designer jacket and I just really love that. And it's got a pocket here and pockets there, pockets kind of everywhere and shoulder pads and that's the back. And I just really like it. So I hope you like it.